will now show how to display a map of the inputs and outputs in a profile. We invoke the quad stick show command map command. Now this being the first time we've run this command with this copy of the file, we need to authorize the scripts. You only need to go through this process one time. And then reissue the command. In this diagram on the left hand side, we have all the inputs that are available to the quad stick. The lower section shows the sip and puff tube mappings. So the left tube, the mouthpiece left tube, mouthpiece both, the mouthpiece right, and then the right sip and puff tube. Arranged in these columns are the output commands that are mapped to those inputs. So for instance, for the mouthpiece, a sip on both tubes will be a mouse left button. A puff on both tubes will be a mouse right button. A soft puff would be a keyboard escape. Then going over to the right hand side, we see how the inputs are mapped to the various outputs on the emulated device. So for instance, this is mouthpiece both sip, just like we saw over here. And mouthpiece both puff. Since this profile also has some keyboard commands, we can select the keyboard. We can get a listing of all the key codes that are part of this profile, along with the inputs that are used to trigger them. We can also look at the alternate profile. So go back to the mouse and select the alternate profile. <clears throat> and then we see that the, the wheel and the pan are, have now been mapped to the joystick up, down, left, and right. This profile doesn't use the PS3 controller outputs, so this would be blank. While in the command map display, we can move to the different profiles. This is the keyboard profile. This is the PS3 right joystick profile. In each case, we have the inputs showing which outputs that they are connected to, and then on the right hand side we show all the output buttons and which inputs are used to command them. We're going to move from the right joystick to the left joystick. We can see that the mouthpiece up, down, left, right signals have been mapped over to the left joystick. And then finally the D-pad. Here you notice that on the left hand side that all these zones are now showing what command that they will send to the emulated device when they're actuated. Over on this side we have what inputs will be mapped to the D-pad buttons. This page can also be printed out and used when learning to use the quad stick to make it easier to remember how things are set up. We can click on the output panel and see a display of just that panel. This can be printed out and posted near the quad stick as a quick reminder of how the inputs of the quad stick are used to actuate different buttons on the PS3.